Welcome to Combat Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and today we're going to show you how to make the Italicus Spritz with grapefruit soda. So what's Italicus? Italicus de Italicus Rosalio de Bergamotto. That's a mouthful. I'm going to call it Italicus from now on, but remember the words. And it contains bergamot, cedro, or cedro. I'm very bad with pronunciation. These two little products, cold infused, essential oils are extracted, boom, liqueur is born. I'm sure there's more details to it, but I like to simplify. But what the heck is a cedro or a cedro in, in bergamot to begin with? Uh, cedro is kind of like a, a species of lemon, and bergamot is like a species of orange. I don't know if species is the right thing, but it's a variety of orange. Um, they, they're green, uh, they look like limes, big limes, and I guess it has a flavor of like lemon meets orange or bitter orange flavor. I've never consumed it just by itself. I'm not even sure if you can do that, but it's infused in stuff. Earl Grey tea, for instance, that's where you get the aromas from, that citrus aroma. But anyway, Italicus grapefruit soda. Now, if you've watched any of our three minute cocktail videos, this is what you would call a cocktail modifier or modifying agent. You use this when you build cocktails to add a new dynamic flavor to things. I don't know, say a Dorchester, sub out maraschino, sub in italicus, things like that, where you wanna bring in some of those citrus notes and more of those floral aromas. So here's the recipe. Two ounces of italicus over ice, four ounces of grapefruit soda over the same ice, and a dash of salt. Ice, stage one, complete. Two ounces of italicus. Done. Four ounces of the grapefruit soda. This is what you call a spritz. You could also do it with champagne or you could do it with Prosecco. The beauty of doing it with the grapefruit soda is you could do this at the pool, enjoy a nice flavorful cocktail, and still be able to walk home. A little pinch, salt. Probably gonna have to clean that up later. And give it a little stir. With a, with a really big straw. Let's, hold on a minute. A really normal straw. Don't stir too aggressively, only because you don't want that carbonation to dissipate. And then you just have flat Italica spritz with flat grapefruit soda. Let's give it a taste. So, one other thing to note, all the ingredients within Italica are sourced from Italy. That's kind of cool. The cedro, the bergamot, lavender, chamomile, yellow roses, mother fingers, lemon balm, all straight from Italy, all in there with some sort of magic on top of it. I'm guessing it's just not all piled on. One thing to note, um, grapefruit soda can be pretty tart. It's pretty aggressive. The Italicus tones that down, brings in a little bit extra sweet, a little bit of that it's not, it's not, to me, it doesn't define as citrus. If I was to taste this, I wouldn't be like, ooh, it's extra citrus now. That bergamot flavor has, or maybe the lavender, maybe this is the rose. I don't, it's got a lot more aroma to it. It's, it's got, it's like a field of fresh flowers, kind of just the taste aftertaste from it. You don't really get that from the scent. And this kind of smells like grapefruit and citrus, but the ending tail off of that finish definitely gives you that herbal qualities that aren't herbal bitter, even though there is the grapefruit, there's definitely more of a citrus sweetness uh, with that bergamot that's just kind of front and center. This is, much like I said, modifying agent. You can add that type of flavor to a lot of different drinks. And because it's citrus-like in its appeal, it's going to probably pair with a good number of different drinks. Sub out whatever the modifying agent is and add this instead. Orange liqueur, uh, maraschino liqueur, grapefruit liqueur, is that even a thing? Ginger liqueur, things like that. But if you're looking for a way to take your standard grapefruit soda, get rid of a little bit of that aggress aggression and bring in a little bit more of that flavor and uniqueness, I think Italicus might be a good pairing. And if you'd like to give Italicus Rosolio de Mer Bergamotto a try, I have information in the description for the different states within the US where you can find it being distributed. There's some online resources as well if you want to be able to buy it online. You could pair that up with your grapefruit. You could pick any of the other recipes off their website. Or, like I said, change up your standard cocktails, add a new liqueur, 
to those cocktails and modify them, tweak them a little bit to see maybe it's not better, maybe it's not worse, but if it's different, different can be interesting. So there you go. Go out, relax, have yourself a grapefruit spritz with Italicus, and enjoy the weather. It's only going to be here for so long. And if you're in Australia, I'm sorry. Enjoy this video in six months when you can then message me and laugh at me for being in the cold. But I'm not in the cold right now, especially in my brain. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink.